Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Nutrition and BPH. What is BPH? Benign prostatic hyperplasia. Also means prostate enlargement. And prostate enlargement actually accompanies the aging process in men if you're not careful. And you start to get symptoms where, well, if the prostate is enlarged, it's going to actually squeeze the urethra so it's much harder to urinate. So you get symptoms where it's hard to actually initiate urination or the urine stream is really weak. You can't completely void the bladder so you have frequent urination. You have to get up several times through the night to urinate. And just that the weakening of the urine stream should be the first indication to you that your prostate might be enlarging. It's a common problem. By age 50, uh, up to 50% of men already have prostates that are enlarged. If you live to be 80 years old, 75 to 90% of men uh, have, have complained of prostate enlargement symptoms. And about half of the men who develop these problems in, during their lifetime seek medical treatment because it becomes very troublesome if you can't urinate properly or you're getting up four or five times through the night or you always feel like you have to urinate but you can't really initiate it that easily. So why does it happen? Well after the age of 40 it seems that the prostate gland converts more testosterone into a more dangerous type of testosterone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And when you have build up more DHT, the cells of the prostate start to divide at a faster rate. That's what the hormone does. When cells divide faster, the, the mass of the prostate increases. There's a greater number of cells. And if, as men get fatter as they get older, if that happens to you, the fat cells secrete more estrogen, and the estrogen then actually stops the breakdown of DHT, and so the DHT builds up even further, and you get a greater risk of prostate enlargement. So there are drugs. There are drugs that can block the conversion of testosterone into DHT. Drugs like Avodard and Proscar do that. There's other drugs that, that sort of relax the muscular coat around the neck of the bladder and the prostate so you can urinate more easily. Drugs like Flomax do that. But these drugs, you know, can come with some side effects. That, and so people often say, isn't there something natural that I can be doing? Well, there are dietary factors that have been shown to actually prevent uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia. Some dietary constituents can help reverse prostate enlargement, and there are dietary constituents that also have been shown to help reduce the likelihood you'll develop prostate cancer, and prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men in this part of the world. So it's really important to know the dietary factors that affect the health of the prostate gland. And so the, the key ones are things like the types of fat that you eat. Some of the fats can actually make the problem worse. Other fats can help reduce the likelihood you'll ever have a prostate problem, including prostate cancer. Alcohol is a factor. Indole-3 containing vegetables can play a really important role in preventing prostate disease, as can lycopene. Certain isoflavone containing foods have been shown to be helpful. Certain vitamins from certain foods have been shown to be very useful. And also, you know, eating a lot of pan-fried meats has been linked very strongly to the risk of prostate cancer because they contain prostate carcinogens. So what I've done to help you really understand the importance of diet and lifestyle and supplements on the health of the prostate gland is I created a little e-book that you can download right here that all men should really uh, have access to. And I say that because most medical doctors don't really spend time studying nutrition and natural medicine. It's not really offered in medical courses to any appreciable degree. So they don't know enough about it. And the Prostate Cancer Society, even though they, they create great awareness that men should have a PSA test for early screening of prostate cancer, they don't spend enough time explaining that 75% of prostate cancer has been linked to diet and lifestyle factors and exactly what you need to do to reduce the, the risk of developing the problem in the first place. So I put it all together in an ebook that's available right here. It's called Natural Remedies for Prostate uh, Enlargement, Prostatitis, and Prostate Cancer Prevention. It's an ebook that all men should read at some point in their lifetime and you know, pay heed to the recommendations that are in those research papers. All the scientific references are there so you know it's accurate information. You should download it right now. Now remember that at machinohealth.com You'll see my other research review papers, other videos I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other resources and, and downloads that are there for free that will all help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and all of my teaching materials have all the scientific references in them so you'll know you're getting only evidence-based, sound, scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should really make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.